Andrea from the vlog of Pine and Prospect Home and I'm coming at you with major allergies this morning. <laughs> My eyes have been itchy and watery. I was putting eye drops in before I started today's video. I look a little puffy, but that's okay. It's springtime and I see some things are blooming and that's probably why. Anyways, I am so excited to share my spring home with you today. So here in Michigan, it's still a little chilly. We're in the 50s today. It's like 54 is the high but there's little buds on the trees. So I know depending on where you live in the country, springtime might be like full fledged for you. In Michigan, we don't quite get that until like May, mid-May. <laughs> so uh, it's still a little chilly here, but so I am just so excited to share my spring home with you today. I wanna encourage you guys, when you're finished watching my spring home tour, please head over to my friend Sky's channel. I'm collaborating with her today. Her channel is called House and Home, and you guys are gonna love her home. Sky is so talented, and I wanna read you a little bit about her. My passion for home renovation, design, and decorating took off when my husband and I purchased our first home, a 100-year-old, 1,300-square-foot house. Since then, we've renovated four homes. This channel was born out of a love for sharing about our online interior decor store. After three years of investing into our shop, we closed our online doors and we prioritized raising our kids and being present at home. If you choose to be a part of our YouTube family, you can expect to see renovations, styling tips, favorite products, DIYs, recipes, and so much more. I know you guys are gonna love Sky. She's always so sweet and so encouraging to me and I'm excited to be sharing her channel today. So make sure you head over to her channel, subscribe if you aren't already, and check out some of her recent videos, including the one that she's sharing today with me. So, all right, sweet friends. So I actually took my footage of our home tour yesterday. The sun was beautiful and shining, but I just never got around to like filming the narration of it or audio, whatever you wanna call it, what I'm doing right now. And today it's like gray skies, not sunny at all. Nonetheless, I am so excited to decorate for spring and I pulled out my spring florals and just made a few small changes. Honestly guys, just little changes, nothing huge or major. I'll be sharing like our entry, living, dining, and a little bit of our kitchen. I go back and forth because sometimes I feel like it's enjoyable to watch just a home tour to, to beautiful music and not listen to anyone talk. And then sometimes I enjoy hearing someone talk about their home and the decisions they made and why they chose to do certain things. So tell me which team you're on. I enjoy both. I guess it depends on the mood that I'm in. So really my entryway has stayed pretty much the same. Keeping it simple guys. I've got a little basket there. Uh, still in love with the wood beam that we added last year, I believe, early last year adds so much character to the space. I just simply added some spring flowers to both the basket, that fun three-tiered basket that we have that I got thrifting for 15 bucks. And then I'll, of course, I love to hang a basket on that entryway door right when you walk in. So sort of think outside the box a little bit, I guess, when it comes to you know, wreaths. You don't always have to hang a traditional wreath. You can hang a basket or a wall pocket or something like that and stick flowers in that instead. And I love doing that in the springtime. In our living room, in one of my last videos, I told you guys I was playing with furniture arrangements. So I kind of went in a different direction. I took the two white chairs and sort of, sort of angled them a bit. And instead of pushing them all the way back to the corners like they used to be for so many years, I brought them forward a little bit so that you could still have a small pathway behind the chairs to get into the sunroom but it also allowed me to bring that fun table forward. The one that I grabbed when I was at the antique show with my husband. I love this table, it's so beautiful. And I put that in between the two white chairs and I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> and I'm back, <laughs> allergies. 
also, I just really enjoy having a table between the chairs so you can set your drink on there and, you know, your teacup, whatever. So it also allowed me to do some rearranging with the lamps. I brought this really pretty brass lamp over here and I love that. Kind of how it contrasts with the rustic wood table. It just, to me, it really, I like the way it looks. So those are really the only changes in the living room area. As we move into the dining space, I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, I may have posted this here on YouTube in the community section as well, but guys, I keep thinking about those chairs. Remember those Facebook Marketplace chairs I bought last year and I did this whole paint washing technique with you guys and it totally failed. Like the first time I went to wipe the chair down uh, because of course I have little children, they get things sticky the paint just came off onto my cloth and I was devastated. So I tried to put a wax on them to protect the finish. That didn't work. So now I, um, I think then I tried to do just solid black on the chairs. I'm like, okay, I'll just paint them black with, with chalk paint. And then I didn't like the solid black. It was too harsh. I loved those chairs with our table. My husband built this table out of reclaimed wood. The top is maple, I believe, that we scored on Facebook Marketplace. It came from an old workbench and then the bottom is made out of beams from a 100 year old farm. So it's really a special table. Love the wicker chairs on the end still, but those round chairs, I keep thinking about them. So I think that I'm gonna have to either citrus strip them or sand them and it's gonna be a big project because all the spindles. So it's just one of those things I'm sort of mentally preparing myself for. Do I want to tackle that? Can we just have a big Pine and Prospect home party and I'll feed everyone and you guys can all help me strip my chairs? <laughs> no, anyone? Anyone? <laughs> That's okay. I understand. I wouldn't want to go to that party either. <laughs> feed me all the food in the world. I'm not stripping your furniture for you. I I'm thinking about those. But other than that, guys, the decor is very simple. I just added some spring flowers. Still loving that little green table that I painted. I don't know if it's gonna be my forever buffet, but it's cute for now. I love the way it looks in there. and really the kitchen, not a lot of changes there as well. I guess I'm becoming sort of boring here on YouTube. <laughs> when you like something and it works, it's okay to leave it. And I think there's this pressure sometimes as influencers, like I gotta keep changing things. And as of right now, I love the way my home is looking and it's working for my family and it's cozy and I, 
I, I truly enjoy it. I added some flowers to the basket above the fridge, um, featured my little teapot there on the stove that I grabbed when I was in Oak Island. I know I shared that with you guys. So I will say I keep going back and forth on the chalkboard that's in my kitchen and I don't even know if I grabbed footage of it for this video, but sometimes I wonder if I should switch that up. I do love that chalkboard frame, it's so cool. But sometimes I wonder if it would be neat to do something else on that little wall. Thank you guys for watching today. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for being a friend. Thank you for putting up with my puffy eyes and my sneezing and scratchy throat and maybe I'm feeling it more than what you're seeing. <laughs> Hopefully that's the case, but I still appreciate you guys coming along today. Make sure you head over to Sky's channel, check out her YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button. Her videos are wonderful. I know you guys are going to love her home. She has a great sense of style and I can't wait to see what she is sharing today. So hopefully I will have more spring projects for you very soon. I can't wait to get out in the yard, start planting flowers and do more outside things. But like I said, still a little bit chilly here in Michigan. So we're just kind of holding out and waiting. If you are new to my channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys again for watching today. And remember, if you have any questions about anything in this video, you can always head to my blog. I have a search option at the top. Anything in the world, uh, almost every topic I think on this YouTube channel is also covered on my blog. Uh, so it makes it nice if, if video goes too fast for you or if you want to study a photo more or if you have questions about a paint color, you can always head over there, utilize that search option, and hopefully it's a help to you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.